Hey there, Virgo. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message for Virgo, Crosswatcher, anybody that was drawn here, really. Take what fits your situation. Leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home, if this is not your reading, just try a different reading. If you happen to find a few readings aren't hitting home for you, though, just take a break. We're going to start with the Work Your Light Oracles by Rebecca Campbell. Just a couple overall uh, cards here. And then I'm going to do a full Celtic Cross spread with the Light Sears Tarot. Let's get into it. For Virgo, please and thank you, Spirit. Ooh, answer the call. What is your soul? What is your heart? What is your very being calling for you to do? Very drawn to something. For some of you, this is a new hobby. Ah, uh, This is about putting yourself out there somehow. You're so nervous. Don't be, honey. Don't be. Putting yourself out there. For some of you, it's about standing your ground. For others, it's about sharing something that you're very passionate about. Maybe it's both. What else do we have for Virgo? Please and thank you. Please don't bring the mousy on the table. No, no, not today, Satan. <laughs> Talk about destruction. No, thank you. What is your... Oh. Are you dodging a bullet? Channeling and uplifting. Interesting. Pleiades double mission. Channeling and uplifting humanity. Or situations. Deep replenishment. Rest, retreat, and be held. I said that backwards, sorry. Retreat, rest, and be held. I feel like you've been in, and I'm reading Virgo, so it makes sense. I feel like you've been in this hermit mode where you've pulled back, you've been working on you, you're healing, you're, I'm, I'm getting like therapy. Something is like therapy. Maybe it is actually therapy that's been really helping you. And I think you've done enough of this work, this healing, that it's time for you to share this because there's somebody else that can grow and heal just by hearing your story. You're experiencing it to share it because as you heal from this and you share that information with other people, you're, they're also healing with you. Does that make sense? You're a teacher. You're a teacher, you're a healer, and you do this by sharing your story. Now, it may be one person that comes in that you're able to heal because you personally went through it. So you're the one that they're going to actually listen to, right? Or it could be a whole group of people. You might end up being a speaker, a writer, a podcaster. I don't, I don't know, right? The possibilities are endless here. But there is something that you are being called to do. All right. Let's get into the Celtic cross spread for Virgo. Please and thank you so much, Spirit. What do we have? Current energy for Virgo. Are you trying to play fetch right now? My cat plays fetch. <laughs> Virgo! Ah, you're winning. You are so fucking winning right now. So, current energy... I could do the whole reading off just these two cards right now. Um, I might. I might. Because this, your current energy being the magician, which is one, and the wheel of fortune, which is ten. These are cyclical energies, endings and new beginnings. This talks about you have everything you need. This talks about ending a chapter and beginning a whole brand new one. Um I'm actually hearing DMX right now. Shut them down. Open up shop. <laughs> um, I just, I'm mind blown that those two cards came out as your current energy. This is powerful. I don't think you realize how powerful you are, but the people around you and yourself 
are freaking about to, okay? Um, you are on a mission, and I think you know it. I don't think you know how important, how impactful this mission is for you. But like, and I know this sounds kind of like, you know, dramatic or whatever. I'm so serious when I tell you this is going to change so much. This is going to change so very much. Um, yes, there's that 10 walking away. This is wild. This is wild, Virgo. What is the incoming energy? <laughs> the Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> You're perfect for this position. You're perfect for this mission. You're perfect for this job. You're perfect for this. That's why you're feeling called because you are so much in alignment for this. I can't fight the feeling. Yeah, another 10. I am telling you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What's in the foundation here? <clears throat> and the way that these are, your current energy is major arcana, which is the divine coming in, supporting you, helping you, guiding you. Um, Literally, I got a golden ticket, right? Oh, man. Except you didn't cheat like Violet did. <laughs> well, her father, right? What's in the foundation? Oh, my gosh. Yes. So the Eight of Swords talks about mental prison, um, repeating thoughts or negative thoughts or feeling trapped when you're not. And then the Ace of Swords is cutting yourself free, is seeing the truth, owning it, claiming it, being the truth. When other people are finding themselves stuck, you have the key, the truth, that can set them free here, that can help them to move forward, that, oh my gosh, you are the key. You are the key. You are the key. There's also something important about a surname. The name that was given to you or your birth date. Like there's something key related. Oh, interesting. Meow, meow, meow. Bring me the mousey and I'll throw it. You got to bring it to me, baby. Yeah, you bring it to me, I'll throw it. You know how this works. Yeah. All right, what's in the recent past for Virgo? No, no, no. Kitty, kitty. Oh, boy, here we go again. Page of Wands. So sorry. Get down, baby girl. I know, I love you too. Come here. Come here. Thank you. All right. Page of Wands. Um, you started moving in a new way. You started moving in a new way and other people are noticing some of them want to know how you did it because they're also going through it. Those are the ones that you can help. There are other types of people that want to know how you did it too. None of them, <clears throat> it's not their concern. Some of them don't need to know. You can tell the difference. You can tell who's worth investing the information in and who you need to just maybe keep it to yourself from. You are a little bit guarded here, maybe a lot of it, but you are guarded and it's not exactly for the wrong reasons. I don't feel like you're over guarded. You are an artist. And if you're not ready to share your creative endeavors, your passions, then don't. If your book isn't finished and you're not ready for somebody to read it, then don't 
leave it where they can read it. You know what I mean? Don't um, give them access to it. If you're an artist and you're not ready for people to hear your music, then don't send them the links. You know what I mean? Um, you know this, though. You very much know this. In the near future, we do have the Ten of Pentacles. Family, loved ones. Um, could even have to do with the people that you're currently living with, Virgo. Um, or people that are visiting you a lot that don't actually live there, but like they've been in your home a lot. Especially take note of the people that can't stay in your home for longer than 10 to 20 minutes. <clears throat> Fears, worries, concerns, the eight of wands, that you've moved on, that you've ascended above this, and you have. Maybe you're worried because new levels, new devils. Yeah, but um, the more you move forward, the better and better your intuition gets. You've learned how to have your own back. Um, bum, bum, bum. How's the universe viewing Virgo at this time? I keep hearing you're a teacher. You're a teacher. You're here to teach. You have a unique way of teaching people. For some of you, it's just visiting with them. Um, they happen to mention something and you're like, oh, hey, you know what? Actually, why don't you try this? See if that works. I almost wonder if you're a guide, like Earth Angel. I actually wouldn't be too surprised if you were. That might be exactly what you are. Pleiadian, of course. You come from the tree of life, I'll tell you that. How's the universe viewing you? Seven of cups. And the five of cups. Listen, listen I don't want to have to, like, be mean, but, like, you, you need to chill a little bit. Holy cow. You're choosing not to focus so much on what's been lost, but rather to be focusing on what you still have and what you can do with that. I kind of feel like because you're choosing to have that perspective, you're lucking out here somehow. It's, it's weird. It's almost like originally <clears throat> the plan was for you to struggle a little bit, but you've made so much more progress. You've done so much more work than you'd originally signed up for that you're kind of curving the pain here. Um, yeah, it's like the divine, <clears throat> the divine is graving you on a curve here, grading you on a curve. Oh, interesting. Because you're the teacher. But you are being graded on a curve. Okay, hold on. Are we just talking about the levels to this? I think we are. You probably feel like you're in the in-between. You're about to close a door, or you just did, but this new one hasn't quite opened yet. You know it will. You're just kind of playing the waiting game. Staying productive in the meantime. You might even be at that point of patience where you're starting to second guess yourself. Don't. That might be exactly why we're getting these cards here, actually. Hey, whoa. Too many claws to be tearing through the house like that, Miss Ma'am. What's the goal here for Virgo? It definitely has to do with getting over your fear of people judging you, <clears throat> judging your work, judging your experiences. Yeah. It might be a little bit uncomfortable putting yourself out there like that. You're, you're putting yourself in a very vulnerable situation, but I think the people are going to love you. 
I think they're going to love your approach. I think they're going to love your intention here. I don't think you realize how much love and support and gratitude you're going to receive by allowing yourself to be vulnerable like this. You will. Pisces energy, very psychic energy with that. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. Oh shit, I'm really about to sneeze. Whew. Excuse me. <laughs> what is the potential outcome for Virgo? Please and thank you, Spirit. Potential outcome. Two of Wands and the Chariot. There it is. So it's almost like they're showing you right here, waiting for that door to open, just kind of waiting. You've already made some plans. You've already packed your bags. You've already gotten all your paperwork together. You're just waiting for the taxi to arrive that takes you to the airport, right? And then boom, here's the taxi and you're on your way to the airport. Like this door is absolutely going to be opening. The divine, the divine has a plan and you're along for the ride here you're ready for this look at that the king of cups and the knight of swords intuitively you're gonna know when it's time to go and you're ready set go like you're ready for it you're absolutely ready for it some of you guys i don't think you realize how fast this is gonna go Okay, the chariot is the fastest moving of the major arcana the knight of swords is the fastest moving of the people the Knight of Swords sometimes moves so fast that he or she misses subtle things. So make sure you're paying attention. But the King of Cups here, that is mastering your intuition. Mastering your emotions. Some of you are going to really, really love this. You're going to really love this. And I don't think you realize how fast this is taking off, how fast this is spreading, how how again loved and supported you are for doing this because you're helping so many people like or you're helping one person so much <sighs> there's really good karma for this that's not why you're doing it though you're facing some fears throughout this it's coming out of that shell coming out of that virgo hermit mode putting yourself out there stepping on a stage it's not exactly your favorite thing to do but i mean take some notes from a leo <laughs> They'll show you exactly what it's like to love the attention, to love the stage, to not be scared of it, right? Take a couple pages out of their book as you're sharing a couple pages with somebody else. You feel me? Yeah. I'm going to leave it right there. I hope this helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.